episode, deep fried jalapeno poppers. Happy Christmas Eve, everyone. Uh, today, like the rest of you, if you're in Canada, we're under lockdown, especially in Manitoba, so visiting family is not something we can do right now. So we're gonna take this time and we're gonna enjoy it with our immediate families and we're still gonna cook uh, good food and we're gonna go a little untraditional this time. So we're gonna do maps this Christmas Eve. Uh, it's a big thing in my family. We always have this competition and today I'm gonna be doing one that uh, actually won me that home trophy roughly six, seven years ago. And that uh, is these jalapeno poppers. Except we don't do the traditional way where you slice them, wrap them in bacon. Although those are amazing, especially when you smoke them. We have a recipe for that on our website. Um, just plug in that right now at www.chefkevinfuck.com. But the ones we're doing today are actually balls. So we have goat cheese. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a bunch of spices, uh, the jalapenos, some shallots in there. Uh, and then they're going to get breaded in flour and panko. And we are going to deep fry them over here. And they're going to be these crispy little balls with this amazingly creamy center. And I can't wait to show you. All right, so what we've done is we put a little bit of uh, white flour into this bowl here, this small bowl. You don't need much bigger than this. This should do just a little bit of flour. It's probably almost a cup in there. Um, and we're gonna do put up a cup of panko in there as well. But first, to start this off, we're gonna take our jalapenos. I'm just gonna start with doing one, um, just to show you. We're gonna slice them up. And because these are for my kids as well, we are going to remove the seeds discard those. The smaller the better. So if you just gotta give it a rough chop like that, that's cool too. Throw them right into a food processor. You want to throw everything I'm showing you right now into a food processor. We'll just push that aside and now we're gonna get into the shallot and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just going to cut it a little differently. Be sure not to touch your eyes. I've done that. It's not fun. But what I'm doing here is I've got half the shallot laying on its uh, flat side down, and then I've cut a bunch of uh, parallel lines across it, leaving about half an inch at the back side by the root, so it's still a deep one uh, good chunk. And then I'm going to do the same thing going the other way perpendicular to the lines that it's cut and then you can just cut from the top like that and it's a quick way to do it. So I only need about a third of the shallot. That might be a bit much. The shallot is huge. Like look at the size of this thing. It's on steroids. Uh, next step is we're going to mix that in with our goat cheese. Alright so we got our pack of goat cheese here. And we are just going to put that into a large or medium sized mixing bowl. Alright, so rather than just putting the spices right into that and getting our hands dirty a second time, we're just going to put them into the flour mixture. So right here I have this Pit Boss Burger seasoning, it's bacon and cheddar. Um, you could add whatever you want. Uh, I just love the seasoning, it's uh, this is made for burgers, but I love it in this bacon bits in there or something. We're going to put about a tablespoon of that. We're going to take some garlic powder. A teaspoon of that. We got some pepper. A good amount. Got the kosher salt here. Ready for all the brisket and all that. We're about a tablespoon of that. Give it a good mix. Open our panko. Okay, so we've opened up our panko. We're gonna throw about a cup of it in there. Put the rest back in the box for later. All right, mix that all up. Okay, then we're gonna take our goat cheese, shallots, and jalapenos, and we're gonna make little balls. They are about half the size of a golf ball, three times the size of a marble, about like that. All right, so if you have buttermilk, grab yourself a little bit like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these balls and just 
roll them in that buttermilk and then transfer them to the breading. It's gonna stick better. The goat cheese is sticky, you can do them just as is, but the panko sticks way better when you add that layer of uh, buttermilk. So it's recommended to do that way. So when you're done, you're gonna have something that looks like that. All right, so the next step, once you have your little balls all made up, you want to get your oil hot. So if you have a deep fryer, get that going. You can air fry these, um, but get your oil off the temperature nice and hot. And then we're going to put these balls uh, straight into the oil and uh, fry them up until they're golden brown. They don't take long. You just want that exterior uh, breading just to crisp up. And so you have that nice crunch on the outside, but it is a pillow in the inside. Alright, from that one log we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 good little uh, sized jalapeno poppers and uh, we're going to fry them up now. So get your uh, deep fryers going and uh, see you in a little bit. We're done. We deep fried these things, we got our oil hot, we put them in there, it only takes a couple minutes. Um, and yeah, you just want them to look nice and golden brown. So we got 15 perfect little uh, ping pong ball sized, I guess. They're all kind of different. They don't need to be perfect. But yeah, make a dipping sauce, maybe a spicy chipotle aioli. would go great with these. Uh, we're gonna top them with some cilantro and maybe a little lemon lime jest, uh, jest, zest and juice. So yeah, New Year's Eve, make them.